Netflix Studio Recaps, we will be explaining the movie, Love Again. The movie opens with Mira Ray and her boyfriend John are very much in love and often communicate via flirtatious text messages. Directly after they have a loving interaction in a cafe, he goes outside and is promptly hit by a car before Myra's eyes. Two years later, Mira is living outside of the city with her parents, and her sister Susie regularly calls, trying to convince Mira to move back in with her. She is ultimately successful, and greets Mira with open arms. Rob Burns is miserable, recovering from being dumped a week before his wedding. He unhappily follows his ex Elizabeth on social media. Called into work, Rob is assigned to write a piece on Celine Dion and is warned that if he doesn't write about her with heart, he might be out of a job. Given a new corporate mobile phone, Rob chats with his workmates Lisa and Billy, who encourage him to date again. However, he has become cynical about love. Simultaneously, Mira opens a box given to her by John's parents, containing clothes and the engagement ring he never had the chance to give her. A children's book author and illustrator, Mira is threatened by her publisher to either produce another upbeat book soon, or be blamed for an intern's dismissal and be forced to return her last advance. Rob begins to receive private, lovesick messages from a mystery woman on the new work mobile phone. Discovering that this person has a blind date via a dating app, he goes to the bar to connect a face to the number. Believing he has spotted her, Rob is disappointed to see her leave with her date. Unbeknownst to him, Mira shortly throws the guy out of the cab for being too sexually aggressive. Going to the interview with Celine, she detects Rob's cynicism toward love. She asks him probing questions until he opens up. Rob is encouraged by Celine to follow his heart, then he runs out of time to conduct the interview, but she encourages him to try the interview again once he's worked through his issues with dating and love, deciphering a text, Rob deduces the texter will be going to a specific opera at the Met, so decides to stay for all performances until he finds her. He finally finds her and introduces himself, both discovering her name is Mira Ray and exchanging personal mobile numbers. Meeting for cheeseburgers another day, they continually find ways they are compatible, and are up all night talking. The next night, they make dinner together at her place, Mira falls asleep afterwards, and Rob takes to the sofa. Mira freaks out when she finds Rob and Susie getting on very well. Rob finds Celine rehearsing, and she notes he has transformed. Mira contacts Rob again, they play basketball, and then spend the night together at his place. In the morning, upon discovering her text to John on Rob's computer screen, Mira feels betrayed and tells Rob to never contact her again. In lieu of writing the profile on Celine, Rob instead writes how she and her music inspired him to pursue love, which he found with Mira. He swears that Mira has transformed him and begs that she give him a second chance, proposing they meet where he first began to hear the music again. Rob's boss publicly chews him out for going against his assignment, but quietly praises him, promising him a podcast. Rob eventually finds Mira somewhere between the Met and Central Park. Once Rob agrees to several promises, they seal the deal with a kiss. Hope you liked the movie, kind subscribe for more interesting and romance videos thanks.